since exponential functions of the form q of t equals a times e to the power of rt are just exponential functions, we don't have a huge amount to say about them specifically. However, let's take a look at their graphs. When we have an exponential function written like this, this a still represents the y-intercept, and this r is the so-called continuous growth rate. And this R can be pretty much any real number, I guess with the exception that it can't be zero. E to the power of zero would just be one. Multiplication by one wouldn't do anything. So if R were zero, this would just be constant. Not interesting. If R is greater than zero, that represents exponential growth. If R is less than zero, that represents exponential decay. We've seen that every exponential function has basically one of two shapes. Here is an exponential function where r is negative, negative 0 0.0387408. And you see the exponential function decreases. If we had a positive r, I selected pretty much at random 0 0.23543. You see the exponential function increases. So the sign of the R is the determination of what the graph looks like if r is greater than zero, it's going to look like that. If r is less than zero, it's going to look like this. 